What's up, we're back, and today, heading into NFL Week 9 of the NFL season, predicting all 14 games coming up in Week 9. But first, what was the record in Week 8? We've been doing it every single week. The overall season record is 70 correct predictions and 35 misclicks. In Week 8, we went 11-3. and three. Big bounce back, because Week number 7, we only got 5 right, all right? Week 7 was really weird. Flukes, fluke week, all right? Then we bounced back 11-3 and three so far. Now... Keep in mind, the Bears and Chargers are playing on Sunday Night Football. This video was made before that, as well as Monday Night Football, Raiders and Lions. Now, let's be real here. I have the Chargers being the Bears. Should be a free W in the column. Lions over Raiders should be another free W. We'll see what happens. Now, heading into Week 9, Week 8, full of a ton of good games. I mean, who could have guessed that the Chiefs were going to lose in Week 8? Not me, right? I didn't guess it. Neither did you. Let's be real here. Nobody thought that the Broncos were going to be the Chiefs. Really weird. Uh, luckily, I started, I started Russell Wilson in fantasy, so maybe I'm a hidden genius. And I don't know it. Uh, but starting off week nine, we have a Thursday night football game that is kind of interesting. Maybe maybe some fantasy relevance out there. Titans at Steelers. Is Will Levis insane? Of course he is. Not. Will Levis is going to get humble a little bit here, I think. Now, the Steelers defense without Minka Fitzpatrick, most likely because Minka had a pretty bad injury, it looked like. Uh, and the Steelers game in week eight will levis though threw some dimes he had three or he had four four deep touchdown passes him and deandre hopkins looked elite with that said the steelers pass rush is one of the best pass rushes in the league they were able to even keep the jaguars relatively quiet all day it's just the steelers offense couldn't produce at all uh with kenny pickett has a potential ribs injury i think as well so if mr trubisky's in this game i don't see the steelers doing much if Kenny Pickett is here, which I'm going to assume he is, I'm, I'm going to assume the Steelers are you know good to go except for Minka, uh, and I'm going to assume the Titans are, fi are starting Will Levis again too. Maybe Tannehill plays. Who knows? Should the Titans start Tannehill or Will Levis? I don't really know that answer to that question. I'm going to assume it's Will Levis versus Kenny Pickett right here. With that said, I'm going with the Titans, man. I want to see I, who do I want to root for. My gut is telling me I'm going to want to cheer for the Tennessee Titans. I want to see Will Levis ball out again. I want to see him throw some deep bombs. I want to see them pound the rock with Derrick Henry. Will Will Levis be able to throw it deep against TJ Watt and the Steelers pass rush? Who knows? Uh, but we're going Tennessee. Next up, Dolphins at Chiefs. Another big game, tough to predict. This one's in Germany, in London, somewhere, uh, you know, across. It's, 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 it's not in the U.S., all right? This game is in some foreign land, probably some country we were at war at like four years ago. Uh, we got Dolphins at Chiefs. Chiefs? Tough loss to the Broncos. What happened, man? I was waiting for the Mahomes flu game. I was waiting for him to throw for six touchdowns. In fact, you know what? I wasn't even waiting for that. I was waiting for a snow game. Everyone said Chiefs Broncos was going to be like 14 inches of snow. Pros. There was no snow in the field at all. So that was, that was a lie. Uh, but we got the, the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins, I think they're really good. But the Dolphins and Chiefs both haven't looked great in recent weeks. With that said... This is really a tough game to predict. The Chiefs don't have home field advantage, even though they're listed as the home team. I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. I, I think the Dolphins right now could outscore the Chiefs. We're just going to have to see how the Chiefs' defense plays. Give me Miami. I don't feel good about it, but give me Miami. Vikings at Falcons. <sighs> the Falcons, if, if you've been watching all these videos every single week, you know why I'm not choosing the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, and if you don't, then you should, you know, just the Falcons, man. The Falcons. Kirk Cousins is out. It, like, logically, the Falcons should win this game. The Vikings are going to be starting some random person at quarterback. If it's the other Randy, they're doomed. Uh, so the Vikings don't look good. But since I hate the Atlanta Falcons because they ruined my parlay a couple weeks back, $1 to 150 all the Falcons had to do was beat the Washington Commanders and they lost. I'm never choosing the Falcons to win ever again. Falcons should win, uh, but I'm not choosing them. Minnesota. Bears at Saints. And we got the New Orleans Saints coming off a good, good Good. Looking for the game. Good win against the Indianapolis Colts. 38-27, and the Saints offensive line actually looked really good in week eight. Alvin Kamara got things going, receiving the tight end. Okay. Add Taysom Hill, man. Uh, and the Saints are going to beat the Bears right here as well. Next up, Rams versus Packers. Tons of injuries in week eight of the NFL season. Matthew Stafford's thumb, not looking good. I mean, it looked like dislocated maybe. Uh, maybe a small fracture. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing bad. You know why? I got Puka Nakua, and I want to see Puka Nakua ball out. The backup for the Rams? Man, who was it? It was Brett Rippian or something? Some random, right? He's not good. 
Uh, and then we got the Packers. The Packers look awful as well. So uh, this is really not an easy game to predict. If Matthew Stafford plays, give me the Rams all day. If he doesn't, we'll have to change. So that's, that's the prediction there. Tough one. Commanders at Patriots. I don't know. This is another hard one. The Patriots, they've had their moments where they look like they could be a good team. Then they have their moments where they look like they look worse than the Bears. So it's it's tough. And then we got the Commanders on the other hand. The Commanders, they played very well in week eight. But they also said if they lost to the Eagles, they were going to start selling their defensive linemen on the trade block. So we'll have to see if, if uh, Washington is a seller by the Tuesday trade deadline. Comment down below who do you guys think is getting moved before Tuesday's trade deadline. Also, join the Discord. Join the Discord. We got a nice NFL forum room in there. It'll be linked in the description. Subscribe, of course, and like the video. Uh, I'm going with Washington. Give me the Washington Commanders. I might have to stream Sam Howell in fantasy. Uh, so I'm nervous. <laughs> Seahawks at Ravens. The Ravens, man, I'm not really going to choose against them. Uh, I got burned. I thought the Lions were going to beat the Ravens. And the Ravens decimated the Lions back in week seven. Uh, and the Ravens had a nice win. Seahawks, on the other hand, Seahawks had a solid performance over the Browns. But, I mean, they only they only beat P.J. Walker by four points at home. So now that they're going to play the Baltimore Ravens, let's see, what did the Ravens do? I know that the Ravens won. Ravens beat the Cardinals 31-24. Offense looked solid all game. They're going to Baltimore. Give me Baltimore Ravens right here for sure. Buccaneers at Texans. Texans, what happened, man? You lost to the, you gave the Panthers a win. We can't be giving out wins to the Panthers like that. I'm pretty sure that was the Panthers' first win of the season. Uh, let's see. No, no, maybe not. Let's see. One. The Panthers. Oh no, it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Panthers got their first win of the season over the Texans. Now, with that said, the Panthers, man, who's their running back? I hope. Like, for those of you that started Miles Sanders in fantasy, get wrecked. Just get wrecked. In Miles Sanders, he was missing. Missing in action. Uh, I have Miles Sanders and Chuba Hubbard, so even worse. Don't know what to do uh, in that situation in fantasy. So that's tough. With that said, I'm all over the place. I'm on my screen right now. I'm trying to find who they're even playing. Uh, we got, what, the Colts? Colts and Panthers, I said? No, we got Buccaneers and Texans. Why am I talking about the Panthers? Let's lock back in. Buccaneers, Texans. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Rashad White, our receiver number one. Uh, for the Buccaneers, looks like seven receptions, 70 yards as a running back last week. I'll take Tampa Bay. Then we got the Cardinals at Browns. Panthers are coming up next. All right, I'm <laughs> scatterbrain. Cardinals at Browns. Kyler Murray's debut, probably. I'm assuming Kyler Murray's back for this game. Uh, maybe Deshaun Watson's back too. I'm going Cleveland Browns and their defense. Colts at Panthers. There it is. Back on track. Minshew Mania versus Bryce Young. No thanks. I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts. Tough game right here. I mean, both of these teams aren't that good, but I just think Minshew Mania is going to top Bryce Young right here, especially because the Panthers have no running back uh, at all, it looks like. So who knows, who knows what's going to happen with, with that RB route. Colts. Giants at Raiders. <sighs> the, the Las Vegas Raiders haven't seen them play on Monday Night Football. I should probably look into if Jimmy Garoppolo is starting. I'm going to assume Jimmy Garoppolo is starting. Uh, against the Lions. Haven't looked into that. Probably should have. Then we got the New York Giants on the other hand. The Giants almost just tied the record for most punts in a game combined with the Jets. That was the worst performance I've ever seen. The Giants quarterback had zero pass attempts heading into overtime. Tyrod Taylor is hospitalized right now. Uh, so we're going with the Las Vegas Raiders. Tough game to predict though. Cowboys versus Eagles. Man, I, I, I genuinely don't think the Cowboys played that great, uh, except for Dak Prescott and the offense. I think the Cowboys offense played really good, and then I think that the the Rams kind of let them win, if that makes sense. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I said the 49ers are top five team in the NFL, but overrated. You guys didn't know what that meant, and then they kept losing, so hopefully you know now. Cowboys, I think the Cowboys and Eagles both uh, are top 10 teams. I think the Eagles are easily top five. I think the Cowboys, are easily around number five, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? They're in that. They're in that hunt to be the one of the best teams. They just have to find it and they have to click. Coming to Philly, Cowboys looked better than the Eagles last week. Honestly, even though they both got wins, I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles right here. And if the Eagles lose, that'll be something to monitor between the Cowboys and Eagles because they could face each other in the playoffs. It looks like, and you know, if the Cowboys can top the Eagles at home. They'll not only have bragging rights, but I'm sure it'll be a big confidence boost. But give me the Philadelphia Eagles. Two more games left. Bills at Bengals. 
Bengals look like a reborn team. And this is the type of Sunday Night Football game we want to see. Honestly, I'm not sure if this will be close. It's in Cincinnati, which makes me a little bit more happy. But I think the Bills are probably going to be able to handle business right here. Bills offensively really strong. Bengals, one of their best performances of the year in Week 8. With that said, give me the Buffalo Bills in Cincinnati. Chargers at Jets. The Jets keep, you know, just sneaking away with some wins. They're a four and three football team right now. Chargers, on the other hand, uh, they kind of they can't win games. With that said, give me the Los Angeles Chargers. Hopefully, they start incorporating Austin Eckler starting in Week Eight tonight in 20 minutes from when this video is made. Hopefully, I get to see some Austin Eckler usage over the Bears, uh, and then they can roll that in to next Monday night against the Jets. So those are all the predictions for who's going to be winning in Week Nine of the NFL season. Like I said, join the Discord, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and peace out.